Hi friends, I'm Deepti Menon, author of Shadow in the Mirror, published by Readomania. I'm here at the Readomania Crime Writing Festival to speak on the topic, Introducing Twists and Turns, How to Surprise the Reader. Have you ever been on a roller coaster ride? You know one of those trundling monsters that creeps up suddenly picks up speed, goes at breakneck speed, and then hurtles over the edge. There you are, hanging on for dear life. Your heart is in your mouth, and your stomach sinks and shrinks. You can hardly breathe. That is the exact sensation a reader should get when he is reading a thriller. Now what is a thriller, and what does it do? A thriller thrills. And how does a thriller thrill? A thriller thrills through twists. That is a lot of alliteration, I know, but it does make sense, doesn't it? So, how does one surprise the reader? There are two ways to do this. One, get into the shoes of the reader and then look at all the aspects of your of your book through his eyes now if you feel the reader can second guess you then get rid of all those aspects that you've been thinking of secondly what you should do is sit down and make a list of all the things the reader would not expect brainstorm and finally when you find the most effective ways a twist can work work them into your book so there you have it that is the best way to start of course there are a few more things that you need to know or to check when you talk about twists now does the twist illustrate the theme does it advance the action? Does it highlight the character's actions, intentions? Does it bring in conflict? Does it do anything more to the theme? If you feel it does all this, then you are definitely on the right track. Now when you take a book like Gone Girl, it was a huge sensation, probably because it had a lot of startling twists that kept the reader off balance. Another master plaster of twists is Jeffrey Archer. He is absolutely the master of twists. His books are filled with action and strewn with red herrings. To digress a little, when Jeffrey Archer came to Chennai, I was lucky enough to be able to interview him. We had this absolutely scintillating interview and when we came to the end of it, my final question was, Mr. Archer, how many more books do you plan to write? Pat came the answer, my dear young lady, as long as I have the twists, I will write. I couldn't think of a better quote for this session of mine. Getting back to twists, there is never any reason to be in a hurry to reveal your twist. Always delay your twists. Let the suspense build up. Let it get so thick that you can cut it with a knife. You must remember that people who are who read your book for the first time need to have the time to get to know your characters. So if you have a twist right at the beginning and they know nothing about the characters, the twist is not going to affect them really. However, when they do get to know your characters and when something really momentous happens, that is the time when the twist will really hit them. Also, make your twists effective. 
There is nothing worse than a twist that is anticlimactic. A twist that does not work is like a punctured balloon. All it does is frustrate your reader, makes your reader feel like a punctured balloon himself or herself, and that is not a very nice thing to do. So make your twists effective. Put them in the right place. Don't have too many twists because that will confuse the reader and keep him off balance. I mean, he might even go into a swoon. So let's not have that. Now, another way to add a twist to your story is to talk about the setting. Now, if you have uh, read Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, there you have the, the grey brooding moors that actually work as a character in, in the novel. And they go very well in tandem with the character of the brooding Heathcliff. Now, as far as my book, Shadow in the Mirror, goes, this is what it looks like. I had four major twists. The first and the second were actually um, the second twist was the most major one. The first one came right at the beginning of the book in chapter one when a young lady falls off the balcony to her death. And the third twist was not as major as the second one. The second one was a colossal mm -hmm. one, if I may say so myself. It was this twist that not one of my readers saw coming. And they all were very, very, very taken aback when they said, Oh my God, what a twist. It really uh, turned the book around. And I was very happy to hear that because that is exactly what I wanted. I wanted that colossal twist to turn the book around. The, ter the third twist uh, made the action carry on. And my very last twist was in the last line of the book where I wanted to keep the readers a little off balance. Maybe to think about a sequel. Dipankar, I hope you are listening to that. The next thing that one could think of as far as a twist goes is characterization. Twists can give strength to the characters. It can add to the conflict. Now conflict can be between good and evil, between uh, white, gray and black. Sometimes you have very strong heroes and, and heroines and uh, you require an equally strong anti-hero or heroine to balance the narrative. In Shadow in the Mirror, my female characters are pretty strong. In fact, the male characters only support them. This may be because I am from Kerala and I come from a matriarchal family where the women are pretty strong and quite uh, and quite capable of taking care of themselves. So these are the various things that you should think of when introducing a twist in your, in your book. Now, coming to what are the things a twist can do? Why should you have these twists in the first place? Now, uh, a twist is one way to keep your reader fully engrossed. You don't want to put your reader to sleep. So one way of ensuring that the reader's curiosity carries on is by introducing twists. Another thing, another reason why you have twists is because we people, readers, we're all readers as well, we live very ordinary mundane lives and we are catapulted into the extraordinary life when we read a book that we enjoy. So a twist can do just that, take you from your ordinary life to an extraordinary one. So that is again quite interesting. Again a twist, a thriller has something for everyone. 
But there are readers who consider themselves Hercule Poirot's. And what do they do? They look for clues, they scrabble around for red herrings and they use their little grey cells and they try to solve the mystery even before the book ends. So let's give them a twist that would, would gladden the cockles of their heart. In Shadow in the Mirror, uh, as, as, I, as I told you earlier, I had this colossal twist but after that, I had a smaller twist. Now, one would expect, a reader would expect that once this huge colossal twist is revealed and the protagonist is also revealed, there's nothing more left in the book. But that was not the case in my book. The third twist went on to advance the action further and the action carried on right till the last page where the last twist lurked. So that is how twists work. Now when you talk about going back to characterization, um, I would love to give some examples here. Now you have the Hindi movie, the Hindi movies, Gupt and Khan. Now the characters there were very normal young people living very mundane lives. And yet there is a suspense that carries on throughout the book right till the very end when the identity of the murderers are revealed. And what a shock, what a twist. It, they, the, the audience remains shell-shocked at the end of the movies. One of my favourite movies is the Malayalam movie Manichitra Tara. Now this movie was a huge success because it won Shobhana a national award as she portrayed the role of a psychological victim beautifully. This movie was later uh, was made again in Tamil as well as in Hindi and in Hindi it was called Bhul Bhulaya where Vidya Balan played the same role. What I mean to say is that a psychological thriller has so much scope in it. There is nothing so fascinating as the gamut of the human mind, the intricacies of the human mind. Shadow in the Mirror is also a psychological thriller and it was an absolute uh, feeling of pleasure. The, at times I myself got a bit, little bewildered about where this was leading up to but then by the end of it I knew exactly what I was doing. So a psychological thriller does not need violence and gore. In fact here I have, I have a quote by the wonderful master blaster of twists, Alfred Hitchcock himself, where he says, there is no terror in the bang, only mm -hmm. in the anticipation of it. So we go back to the point that you need to slow down your twists, you need to lengthen out your suspense, you need to uh, carry or you need to uh, have your readers curious till the very end. But that is what makes them interested, sustains their interest in the story that you are telling them. Now, as far as Shadow in the Mirror goes, there is another very interesting point here. In fact, all thrillers, they when you think of a thriller or of any book, the cover is very important. If you look at this cover, this was something that Dipankar of Readomania fame and I sat together. In fact, uh, it took us almost six to eight months to get the perfect cover image. And we were not satisfied till this image landed up. 
and the image came in many many different shades the Dipa was the one who found it and he sent it to me in shades of uh, maroon green ochre brown and of course blue but have you ever uh, realized that thrillers often use the color blue in their covers in fact if you see i'm i match with my book i'm in blue the lady in blue and i have a red bindi the red bindi of course i don't claim to have those brooding beautiful eyes and in fact there is another twist here just imagine if i'm walking down the street and this lady suddenly walks up to me and says hi there i am your shadow in the mirror wow wouldn't that be a fantastic twist that would be the day i would love to meet her i have no idea who she is because i think this was a picture that was bought off the internet and hence if i do come across this lady i would be very 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 happy to see her so that is it about surprising the reader now what are the common pitfalls when you are writing a book with a lot of twists first of all never underestimate your readers they are very canny and today's readers having such a deluge of information uh, know everything about everything so it is very difficult to give them a twist that they have not already thought of so when you are planning on a twist i do plan on my twists because i want them to work so when you are planning on your twists make sure that they are not the ordinary mundane cliched twists you always need to keep the readers off balance that is the difference between a romance a historical book and a thriller a romance is is where the writer has to uh, concentrate on the characters on the dimensions on the relationships which is again a very challenging task because to sustain the interest of the readers in a romance is also requires a lot of subtlety in a thriller however it's much easier if you have your twists picked out and chosen well and uh, as i said i have been always been a plotter but there are times when my plots have run off with me and uh, it was there was another there's a very another another very interesting quote by nicole kidman where she says life has got all those twists and turns you've got to hold on tight and off you go now some of my favorite um writers thriller writers are um of course alfred hitchcock and alfred hitchcock brought out a series of short stories i think which were written by or compiled by ray brad uh, ray bradbury now there is this one amazing short story called the whole town's asleep if you can get a copy of it if you can read it please do read it i think that is the ideal version of the thriller short story it has everything and it ends with an absolute twist that leaves you reeling of course some of the other writers like uh, agatha christie always a favorite jk rowling jeffrey archer stephen king sydney sheldon gillian flynn gone girl i think but i only enjoyed gone girl i tried some of her other books which and they were not that pleasant to read my all time favorite is an is an author called daphne du maurier she wrote this these amazing books rebecca my cousin rachel and jamaica in um when we talk about the language in a thriller we often think of terse to the point uh, fast paced sentences and and a style that moves hurtles along but when you read a 
writer like Daphne du Maurier, she, her, her prose is reflective. It is beautiful. Her descriptions are out of the world and yet her twists thrill her story. Rebecca, of course, last night I dreamt I went to Manderley. That is where it starts. And what a book. So, finally, when you look at it, a thriller is as thrilling as a writer wants it to be. You can either thrill the reader or you can kill the reader. The choice is yours. Hopefully, I would like to do the former. And once again, if I can, could just read two lines from my book, I was talking about setting. How do you set the setting, especially? Now, th these two lines are from the chapter which has my greatest twist, the twist that uh, my readers could not fathom initially, of course. When, when it hit them, they stayed hit. So, uh, as I was saying, you talk about the grey and the menacing and the dread these are some of the words you use. Now, I would just like to read out two lines here. The silence deepened as the room grew still darker, as though the sun had shut itself away from what was happening in the room. So obviously there was something happening in the room and the readers are looking on. It's almost like as though they're watching something happening. I try to paint these word pictures so that the reader can see what is happening. And then... I go on to say, the clouds seemed to have crept into the room, creating an atmosphere of dread, of suppressed menace. Now two words, dread and menace. These words have very, very strong connotations. They can only be unpleasant. They can only lead to something that the audience dreads, the audience anticipates audience waits for and that suspense is what contains the twist so finally as we talk about twists and turns may we all continue writing thrillers be they be, be they political be they psychological crime novels historical thrillers thrillers of any sort the main thing is that you need to sustain the twists to sustain the interest of the readers i do hope that i've surprised you a little i hope i've given you a little inkling on how to surprise the reader when you write and let me tell you i have enjoyed the session i hope you have too Thank you so much for this opportunity and do continue reading all our books on Readomania and otherwise. Thank you and have a lovely evening.